Welcome to Know His Love Stories, where we listen to the voice of the Father through His children. This week, we bring you a story from the street. In the summer of 2021, the Know His Love team attended our first live event, sharing the power, accessibility, and beauty of the personal love of God, and listening to men and women share their own experiences of His love. This is one of those stories. Today we hear from Evan. He's from Los Angeles and is currently serving as a vagabond missionary, a group that's aimed at helping inner city youth come to know Jesus Christ, have a relationship with him, his church through contact work, discipleship, and solidarity with the poor. This is a Know His Love story. I guess a pretty dramatic example of how I question like God's love and in a way like like God's existence, just because I always knew God to be loved, raised as a Catholic. But uh, my little brother almost drowned to death when I was in high school. And it was a very traumatic situation for my entire family. Um, basically, everybody got consumed with it, and it kind of blew the family apart. Like, uh, my father started, like, obsessing over it, trying to, trying to save him, and it kind of left me and my sister on the wayside, and it just built up a lot of resentment. And it kind of made me resent God because I was like, why would this happen? Like, why would you let this happen? Right. How how can you be a loving God if you're allowing this to happen? Right. I kind of just like forgot about myself as a person. Um, I guess when all, that entire situation happened, I was I also, too, became obsessed with the situation, but more from the perspective of saving my dad, not saving my little brother. Uh, I would go to the hospital a lot, kind of trying in a way to be his crutch. And it definitely wasn't like, wasn't taking care of myself. Um, definitely like was not praying and definitely wasn't, uh, I wasn't having any healthy consistency in my life besides just hospital visit, hospital visit, hospital visit. When, um, I was in the middle of my confirmation process, I did the two year process. That's how it is in California, um, in high school. So I was entering into my second year and I didn't really care for it too much, but I did embrace it because I I needed something at this point. Like I knew that I had nothing left. Like I was already feeling a lot of resentment towards God. But I was offered the grace of community and the grace of people that were reaching out to me and making sure that I was safe, making sure I was healthy, people that were checking on me to make sure I was eating, making sure I was getting my school done. And, uh, like, I guess I did have a big aha moment where it culminated in, like, literally having, like, a divine intervention moment where I felt, like, at the absolute low of the low. Like, my relationship with my dad blew apart. The situation with my little brother looked awfully bleak, and I, I wanted to call it quits. But it was kind of in that moment that I saw God's love through how he loved me through that community, how he's loved me through my mom and through my siblings. So being a beloved child, I think I, I put a difference between beloved and spoiled. So like me being a beloved child, I know I'm not going to get every single thing I asked for. Right. But I know that his, like my best interest is in his mind. Like my safety, what's best for me is in his mind. And like, I didn't really get to fully buy onto the whole me being a beloved son of God until I was halfway through college. That's when I had, like, my final step of fully accepting, like, God is my father. God is a loving father. And, yeah, it was, it was in adoration. You know, it was frequenting that sacrament where I just kind of felt that peace. Like, you know, no matter all the stuff that I may be going through, like, God is still watching out for me. God is still leading me. And God still wants the best for me. Like, it was just a lot of acceptance. And... I think how I notice like God speaking to me or God loving me is in situations where um, kind of through people, like through interaction with others. So with my missionary work, I'm going to be interacting with just basically anybody in the community that I'm serving. So I'm going to be serving right here in Steubenville and just meeting with, you know, like everybody that ranges from the inner city children as well, like up to the people just on the streets and people in the shops, like whole community. And it's in those little interactions where... You know, it kind of just makes me chuckle because maybe I'll just be praying like, hey, God, I want to meet someone who does X, Y, and Z. And then I meet that exact person like five minutes later. Like, and it's happened so often, especially in training, like meeting other fellow missionaries that are going to be going out and doing the same work. You know, just hold on, like take a second and just breathe. Like, don't think so fast. Not everything needs an answer right here, right now. Like, have patience. God will show you what the answer is. He has, like, he's looking out for you. Thank you for listening to Evan's story. I would love to share your story as well. If you would be interested in sharing your story, please connect with us on social media or by clicking on the Join Us link 
at knowhis.love. Thank you.